Good morning students. Today I am going to tell you the summary of the poem A Photograph taken by your book Hornbill. The poem A Photograph is written by Shirley Tolson. In this poem, she recalls her mother and her memories while looking at a childhood photograph when her mother was 12 years old or so. She has been deceased 12 years ago and she cannot explain her grief on her mother's loss. Students, now I am going to tell you the summary of the poem line by line. Please see to the poem shown on the screen and understand the summary to make it clear into your brain. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hand and she, the big girl, some 12 years or so. In these lines, the poet is looking at an old photo album which is made up of cardboard in the picture. There are three girls who are walking on the beach holding each other's hands. The girl in the middle is the tallest and oldest. The other two girls on each side are younger than her. The girl in the middle is the poet's mother. She is around 12 years old when the picture was taken. It's strange. In this poem, the poet is towards, seeing towards the photograph. In this photograph, a woman is standing in the middle, who is the poet's mother. And two girls on each side are younger than her and they are cousin of the poet. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. A sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born, and the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. In these lines, the poet describes how the photograph was taken. Her mother's uncle took the photograph and told them to stop and pose. All three of them left their wet hair open and smiled at the camera. The poet's attention is drawn towards her mother's face, which is described as a sweet face. The photograph was taken long before the poet was born. The poet calls their feet terrible, transient, as they were so young by then and now. They had grown older. On the other hand, the sea which touched their feet has changed less. Some 20-30 years later, she'd laugh at the snapshot, see Betty and Dolly. She would say and look how they dressed us for the beach, the sea holiday. Students, I hope that till now you have understood the lines which I have explained in the summary. Now, I am going to tell you the lines which I have read just now. After 20-30 years later, she would laugh at the photograph. She would tell me to look at her cousins, Betty and Dolly, and how their parents would dress all three of them up for the beach. They would have planned to take a photograph beforehand. Was her past, mine is her laughter. Both ring with the labor is of loss. The poet recalls a sea holiday was her mother's favorite moment from the past. While the poet's favorite moment from the past was her mother's laughter, her smile. Both the women would think about those past memories which they cannot live again. They tried their best to adjust to what they lost. Now, she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived, and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all. It silence silences. In last lines, the poet says her mother dies 12 years ago, the same age her mother was in the photograph. Whenever the poet thinks of her mother's death, she cannot explain what effect she has of her mother's death. Death has silenced her mother, which has also left her speechless. Students, listen to the summary to make this poem clear to you. And if you are facing any problem, you may call or message anytime. Thank you.